You know, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really the biggest fan of The Walking Dead TV series, or at least I'm not so much anymore. I was back when it was new, up until I would say Season 3. But regardless of my opinion of that series, it has had a big impact on the gaming industry. In this game, Seven Days to Die is one of them. Uh, now this game got released in 2013 on the PC as a Steam game, and it still is not technically completed. It's still in its alpha stages, I've been hearing. This version, however, is the console release on the Sony PlayStation. There is also one on Xbox, but this one you're seeing here is, of course, on the PlayStation. And it is a 2016 release. It came out just in June. Um, now, the good thing about this game is it is actually a very cheap game. It was about $20 brand new at GameStop when I got this. And the only reason why I actually got this was because my friends had it and they said, you know, why not play it? We'll, you know, have some online matches and have some fun. And it is a lot of fun. Uh, this is single player mode, though. Uh, but you can play with up to four players online, random friends, or you can do two player split screen, which is also a blast. Um, this is, you know, your normal zombie survival game, except the only difference here is that you craft stuff, you can build houses, you can build traps, you know, clothing, uh, you can dig. In a sense, it's kind of like a zombie survival version of Minecraft, except as you can see a lot more in the realistic sense. And also, um, yeah, it's not about mining diamonds and all that stuff, it's more about surviving, and of course, every seven days you have a horde of zombies that you gotta fight against. Um, now, on a typical day, what will happen is there will be zombies around, there will be crawlers, but they'll only go after you if they see you. Um, however, on the seventh day, they're always after you, and your objective is to either survive, kill them, or hold out for the night until, you know, you get to the next day, and then you run away, go to a location, or etc. Now, in this gameplay, I really don't show off crafting that much, but you can actually do a lot of stuff. Uh, this is because, you know, I'm not really too into the game yet. I just got it, so I really didn't get too far. But, you know, I've already crafted a house, as you can see. Um, I've made clothes, all that sorts of stuff. It's a very fun game. I actually did not think I would enjoy this, but I am. And, you know, it, I think it's pretty neat. Now, another thing I'm going to kind of get into this review, and you'll notice um, the graphics. Yes, this game, if you take away the HD resolution and some of the textures, this game looks a lot like a PlayStation 2 release. Um, you'll notice a lot of pop-in with the graphics. Uh, the draw distance, well, pop-in and draw distance are the same thing, but, you know, the draw distance is not really that good. Um, animations are a little bit choppy, and, of course, you sometimes have the game freeze up a little bit. But the thing about this game, even though it doesn't really look the best, it's still a lot of fun. And also, you got to remember, it's still in its alpha stages, so as you can see, like, the zombies kind of glitching through the ground. Yeah, there's going to be bugs, and yeah, they will patch it up. And, you know, I think once this game is fully complete, you know, it may not look too much better, but I think it's fine this way. Uh, you know, I grew up in the era of the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox and the GameCube, so... You know, this actually looks a lot better than a lot of those games, even though if you take away some things, it can look pretty similar. Uh, things like having poor draw distance or not as good frame rate, you know, things like that. I was used to that, so having it in playing a game like this today does not really affect me. And in fact, it kind of brings back memories of the past. Now, another reason why this game, I really could care less about the graphics being not as good is because, you know, this is a random map generation. You know, just like Minecraft, it generates these huge maps. And I mean friggin' huge. Uh, I'm gonna take down a zombie here. But, you know, regardless, it's a big game. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of features, but then again, it is a budget title, which is good. So, if, you know, you're on a budget for your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, go pick this game up. You know, it's a great time. Uh, I played this with two other people, two of my good friends, and we had a blast surviving building our house and setting up traps and all that stuff. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it does take a while to do things, 
and we still haven't even gotten close to collecting everything yet and you know building stuff in fact we haven't even gotten to guns yet um but you know even with that being said this game is a lot of fun and for those of you who might look at it and be like eh you know give it a try um you may be surprised i i actually really was surprised because i'm not usually into games like these uh, another thing i also noticed i kind of decided after i got it to look up reviews on this game people like ign and uh on even on the metric scale this game actually got some pretty poor ratings now i think the reason for that being is because they're reviewing it as a full game and not as the game they have right now as in like I said, still in its alpha stages. So they're kind of grading it as they would if it was a full release. Um, I can kind of see it in some ways. But at the same time, they should look more at the gameplay and how much fun they had. Um, in fact, in the IGN review, the guy didn't even really get that far. I mean, just like me, he didn't get that far. But it almost felt like he didn't even bother doing some of the stuff. Like crafting or any of that. Um, you know, that's just my opinion, though. If you don't like this game, whatever. That's the, you. That's your beef. But I like this game. I recommend it. It's a cheap budget title for the PlayStation 4. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can have fun with friends. Hell, you can even have fun on your own like I'm doing. And, I mean, this is a hard game, though. Uh, when you start off, you have nothing. You know, zombies are a pain to take down. And when it gets nighttime, you know, they start running and stuff. And as you can see, I'm kind of starting to become overwhelmed here. I only have a stone axe and there, you know, there's zombies coming everywhere. I mean, I'm kind of coming close to a town. And you, as you can see, the road is kind of weird. This is where that whole random map generation comes in. It's all random, so things like that do happen. But I think it's awesome. I think this game is freaking so cool. You know, it may not be the best looking, obviously. But as you can see, I'm trying to break into a gun store. But I just think games like these are kind of interesting to me now after I took a second look. Uh, so yeah, if you ever you know, are in the market for a cheap PS4 game, don't be afraid to check this one out. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And you'll have a lot of fun with your friends too. <laughs> oh god. Alright, well, that's the review I have and that's my opinion. So yeah, check this game out if you can and uh, have a good day guys.